Okay, quick video on how to turn a flux core MIG arc welder into a gas MIG welder. Bought a tank of gas, bought a Harbor Freight regulator. I think they've only got one, so it's about 22 bucks. Hard to get the wrong one. You want this little nozzle here. I think it came with that. Then hose clamp, some tubing that fits that. I'm not going to give all the details because there's a lot of different ways you could do this. Another hose clamp, another nozzle, and another nozzle. Both of those nozzles will go onto this 220 volt solenoid. It's a gas solenoid that I bought on eBay. It wasn't very expensive. And these are sold on eBay as a way to turn. They're four welders, basically, is the way they're being advertised. So this will work great. Another hose clamp to a tube, and that tube will go then into the welder and connect onto that nozzle. So these welders, they're often sold at box stores. There's a ton of different models, but uh, most of them are advertised as being able to upgrade to a gas welder. So that's kind of one caveat of this video. If your welder is not compatible with gas, then You'd have a couple extra steps which would require figuring out a way for the trigger on your gun to actuate the solenoid. Luckily if you buy one that is gas compatible, all of that's built in for you. Then I've got some other odds and ends over here, some tips, a nozzle, uh, some thread tape to keep the gas from leaking. Uh, so basically all you have to do is hook the regulator, it hooks right onto the tank. And then you hook the hose to that, and then the, the other end of the hose to the solenoid, which I'm going to mount inside the welder. These compatible with gas welders will often have a little cover or some way to get the gas line in there. That's going to be the trickiest part. I have to figure out a way to, I got to open this up, it's super easy, there's a couple screws. Each welder will be a little bit different. Then I just need to figure out how to mount this inside there safely so that it doesn't rattle around and... Uh, I don't want this to uh, be loose and flopping around and have a gas leak. That could be very bad. And then from the other side of the solenoid, you just are hooking this tube up to that nozzle, and that'll go into your hose feeder, and you're good to go. And that's all you have to do. Can I take it that far? Okay, so I've added some of that sealing tape to the threads there and also to the threads here. And that's just to keep gas from leaking out. I'm gonna do that everywhere there's threads. And one thing I'll add is you can just buy all of this stuff in a Lincoln kit to convert the welders. However, it's, uh, I've seen it anywhere from $130 to $180, which all of this stuff cost me probably, I don't know, around 40, 50 bucks. So saving some money, a little bit of fun doing it yourself, and you're basically getting all the same stuff, so. Just gonna hand tighten these and then snug them down with a crescent wrench or an open end wrench. But for now, that goes there. All right, the next step is to hook the tubing onto the nozzle from the regulator. It's pretty low pressure once it goes through the regulator, so this is just uh, tubing that I got at Home Depot. Again, you can get the kit from Lincoln, it's very expensive, but. Uh, just trying to do it myself, and I've been watching a lot of videos on how to do this, and it seemed pretty straightforward. So just trying to make a slightly shorter video than some of the ones that I've seen on how to do this. Next thing I'm going to do is mount up that actuator, or excuse me, the solenoid, in the Lincoln welder, and that's what this hose, this tubing, the other end of this tubing will go to. Just put pipe tape on the two nozzles for the solenoid. And I actually did a bigger one here because the gauge of tubing that I've got hooked to my regulator is bigger than the nozzle that I showed you inside the welder. So I'm going big to the end of the solenoid and then smaller. The smaller is a quarter inch and the big is three eighths inch tubing. Okay, now I need a way to get the tubing into the welder. So it's got this plastic plug already. I'm just gonna take a 3 8 inch drill bit and drill a hole into that. There's probably a proper fitting little conduit port, but I don't have it and I think this will work just fine.
On this particular welder and probably all the welders that allow for easy conversion, uh, right here on the circuit board, there are two little terminal prong thingies and that is what you'll connect the wires to uh, from the solenoid. So I'm just gonna grab some uh, little solderless connectors like these and crimp those onto the wire probably be good if I soldered them but I think I can do a good enough job it'll be fine and the wire both wires are red coming off of this so I'm assuming that it doesn't matter the polarity it's, no it must not because there's no way to determine that from the wire they've provided so I'm just gonna wire it take a chance hope it works here is the solenoid with both hoses attached I put a hose clamp on the big side and I did not have a hose clamp small enough for the small side so the hose was luckily super tight hard to get on there so I don't even think it needed one but I just put a zip tie on there as a uh, temporary hose clamp then all I'm gonna do to mount this thinking about it more is I'm gonna drill two holes through the back wall and I'm just gonna put tie wire around the neck of this thing and just really tighten it down I'll pin it against the wall really good here is the mounted solenoid pretty bomber and all I really did was drill two holes wrap it around the tie wire which is this stuff and then I just gave it a twist with some pliers and it's in there really tight so now I just route this tubing up through that hole right there you could drill a hole if you needed to you want to make sure there are no burrs get it really nice and smooth because you don't want uh, this hose rubbing on any sharp metal and causing a hole that could be very bad and then I just route the other end of this to the nozzle on the other side tube is now coming through this uh, firewall I guess you'd call it and down to the nozzle that goes to the gun and one last thing to note is on probably all of these welders you're gonna have to switch the polarity so flux core you can see the wires here how they're routed MIG they're crossed so you're basically just switching the positive and the negative so I'm gonna do that right now just by taking off these two wing nuts and swapping the wires on the posts and putting the wing nuts back on and then you're done should work great Okay, it's all done. I have switched the polarity. Now I'm just gonna give it a try, see how it works. Okay, I'm all done. I've already tested out once and the conversion definitely worked. I'm not used to welding with gas. It makes a much cleaner weld. Uh, just give a quick demonstration here. Just do a couple tack welds on this joint here. Sounds like I'm running a little bit hot. But I can definitely see and hear the weld's really a lot cleaner than it was with flux core. I'm definitely gonna have to adjust the welder settings. That wasn't very good. But I got a tack there and a tack there. I need to adjust probably the gas and the welder's uh, feed and amperage. But it works. I can hear the gas flowing and now it's just a matter of uh, having the right welding skills to create a good weld, which I obviously need to work on. Good luck.